Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy Spray Paint back at you with another video. Y'all know what it is, man. I ain't got to say too much. So, man, TQ, Boosie Brother, break silence on Say Cheese. Says Boosie Boy Liar, man. You did what I'm saying? And, boy, that was a good, good interview. I was surprised that Say Cheese put the whole thing out. But the, it was so long, I at least watched it. For about, I at least watched it, I want to say about an hour. Yeah, about an hour and, probably an hour and 45 minutes. That was a good long interview. But this is what he was saying. He was basically saying, like, he don't understand why, you know, Boosie about to mess things up. far as, you know, he's got a lawyer working on who forged his signature and things like that. And, you know, TQ said he's been signing everything since the beginning for years. He's the one that found Blue, signed Blue, or whatever the case may be. And he put he, he stated he stated a couple of things that a lot of us outsiders didn't know about. What well, some probably did, you feel me, especially the ones in BR. But what he was basically saying that, Boosie don't invest in his artists. You know what I mean? He was like, when it's every time it's time to handle business uh, with investing, you know, Boosie, he brush it off or say he don't want to talk about it. You know what I mean? He he was saying, like, basically, he be want, Boosie be wanting the labels to fund the artists, and then, you know, they come through on the back end and come and get theirs. And was basically saying, like, he don't want you to be shoulder to shoulder with him, or he don't want to, he don't want you to pass him. You feel me? But I ain't gonna act like Boosie don't have no no say so. It's it's two sides of a story. No, it's three. You got the truth, the lie, and you got the you know what I mean. You might well say the facts go with the truth too. But I don't know who's lying about what. But it's a whole lot of family business going on on the internet between TQ and Boosie. And, you know, he was basically saying that he missed his brother. He ain't talked to his brother in a minute, you know, because they have done had a couple fallouts or whatever. But at the end of the day, that's his brother. He still got love for him. But he say, you know, Boosie is stubborn, arrogant. He got a quick temper. And basically saying, like, you know, when you seen him ran about his daughter, you know, snapping like that, that's how he talked to everybody. Mom, mama, brother, kids, partners, everybody get the same treatment when it comes to Boosie. You know what I mean? He ain't got no picks on who he going to spaz out on. That's just how he is. But this the thing. What what's confusing to me is I don't understand why Boosie won't invest in invest into his artists. You know what I mean? What's what's the problem with that? Why he leave him high and dry like that? And you know, TQ was basically saying that they didn't know the business. You feel me? Like they was learning it and he was still learning it. You know, the whole while while Boosie cut him off. He was basically handling the business with Young Blue or whatever the case. And now this whole situation, how TQ putting it out there on the internet, like Boosie wasn't paying Young Blue no attention until he got that Drake feature and it blew up. You feel me? Once he got that Drake feature and it did numbers like that, Hatch wanted in. And allegedly, they saying that Boosie is suing Gazi, he's suing Blue, and he's suing TQ, and Dre. You feel me? Like, who would have known that Boosie would be finna get ready to take it to Drake ass too? Like, everybody finna get it. Boosie is out for blood. He's saying, you know, people for this signature, they didn't do right by him, but... You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. 
we just gonna have to see because like I said, it's two sides of the story. So we we know eventually these boys gonna have to go to court. It's gonna have to they gonna have to go in the courthouse and get this done because all this social media ranting and going on other podcast platforms talking about this how it's gonna do. Man, look, it's best you let the courts handle this because everybody gonna voice their opinion and say who was supposed to get paid from this and who was supposed to get paid from that. At the end of the day. That's boosted artists and that's TQ artists. I don't know. I, and and the money is going inside the business account. It ain't like it's going to TQ personal account. It's going inside the badass syndicate account. So it's really kind of confusing, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section, man. Do y'all feel like Booster be investing in his artists or y'all feel like he leave them high and dry? You know what it is. It's your favorite blogger from down south. Smash that like button. I'm gone.